Let's bring in former Australian ambassador to Israel, now Liberal Senator Dave Sharma. Thanks for joining us, uh, Dave. Uh, look, there's no other way to view this, surely, than the US letting Israel down. Look, I'd say this is a complicated picture, but I'd say that, interestingly enough or strangely enough, both Netanyahu and Biden have a degree of domestic political interest in having a, a bit of a difference of opinion over these issues. But I think uh, it, it is a change in normal US policy, but I think the fundamentals of US support for Israel, defence assistance, military assistance and vetoing any hostile resolutions will be uh, maintained. I mean, I... I, th I think it is a change of position, but it's uh, it's a pretty modest change of position. You're suggesting that the difference is confected to a degree in order to serve the, the domestic interests of both leaders. Uh, the point about this resolution is it calls for a ceasefire. At least it also calls for the release of hostages. But how, in God's it's name, can it. Israel stop fighting, stop tackling Hamas, while Hamas still has people that it took at gunpoint on October the 7th? Uh, look, I don't, I don't think Israel can, and I don't think Israel's given any indication that it will. I mean, I think that the way to stop a, a future Israeli offensive, the way to stop a campaign in Rafa, if that's what you're concerned about, is to call on Hamas to immediately and un unconditionally release the hostages and to surrender its leadership. That's still going to be how this war ends. And I think, um, you know, someone said to me the other day, there's no point in putting out three quarters of the fire. If you've still got Hamas battalions in Gaza, uh, wherever they are, they need to be dealt with because that's the only way that Hamas will be eliminated and that's the only way we'll get humanitarian assistance in at scale and that's the only way that we'll have a more hopeful future for Palestinians and Israelis. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's astounding that that's not the focus. Uh, the international community should be demanding Hamas release hostages to try and bring this to an end. Instead, we keep... Uh, uh, the international pressure is on Israel to essentially uh, let Hamas off the hook. It, it is extraordinary.